Hey, everybody. Okay, I got a few people asking me how I know about these Acutis and a few other pharmaceutical companies that Trudeau's in. Now, when you go to these companies and try and find their shareholders, you're going to find other company names. So you take them top five or ten company names and you research them. And then they're going to take you to other little companies that are involved in those companies. Okay? Sounds like a lot of work. Trust me. It takes some time. You'll spend 20 minutes, half an hour digging into this stuff. But eventually you come down to who actually owns some of the smaller companies that are owned by the companies above them and then by the top 10 companies. Okay? And that's when you start seeing the people invested in the smaller companies. So they're putting their money into the smaller companies, which are investing it into the next company, and then investing it into the company that's buying the shares in the pharmaceutical companies. It's their way of hiding who they are. Trust me, there's a lot of top political leaders in Canada that are in on this, that are making money every time. The lipoid nanoparticles were created in British Columbia. Trudeau has big investments in that. From the beginning, he knew. And without those, there's no vaccines. Why do you think he orders more vaccines than we need? Because every dollar he spends on a vaccine, money comes back to him. He has way more than he needs. He orders more than he needs constantly. He's got contracts with Pfizer and everybody else to buy vaccines until 2025. He's going to make money. As far as the rest of the politicians go, look them up. Look up their names. Dig into different articles that you read about them. Wikipedia is going to tell you where they came from, what their experience is, what their education is. That's where you're going to find out a lot of that information. You dig deep enough, you find out that a lot of these people behind Trudeau, they're people that he wanted. He knew they would follow everything he wanted done. This is Canada Freedom Day. You need to stand up. You need to support every Canadian, vaccinated or not, that wants their freedom back. This is what this is about. Freedom back. No more prisoners in our own country. No more lockdowns. We've had enough. It's time to take it back. The only way you're going to take it back is to expose their corruption. Let everybody out there know. Share everything you find. Don't keep it to yourself. That's the only way this is going to help. 